It doesn't feel like it's been five hours. You know why? Because I ate carbs today. Because I ate rice. And I feel like I can do anything. <laughs> the power of rice. Inject rice into my veins. Revive an Asian. God. Rice just saved my life. <laughs> oh, God. Let's go into the build. So we're going to be building the SPV-1. This is by Biso. The group by ends on the 28th. There are four colors. Here's the black, silver, berry blue, and porpoise pink. Anyone want to guess what color we have? If you guess the color right, you'll get a thumbs up. The name is on here. I have a silver. <laughs> Granted, I do have a pre-production unit, so there might be a few scuffs on here. Don't mind it. So we're building a silver and we're going to be using an FR4 plate. There is lots of oh, piece of weed in here. So this is the combo we're going to be using. FR4, silver case, and we're going to be using these Anubis switches. This is what normal kits look like at 14. Too much makeup, awkward smile. You look at 14 year olds these days, they look like heckin' 19 year old, 19, 20 year olds, okay? This is what a true 14 year old is supposed to look like, okay? <laughs> like, <gasps> nowadays they look like, they look like models. <laughs> like, <laughs> this you're supposed to look like at 14. <laughs> Not like an Instagram model. What the? What the heck? Milk is so strong these days, or something. Like they must be giving these younger kids like some kind of special milk. I don't even know. I definitely did not look like that, as you could tell. I still don't look like that, but whatever. Let's talk about this suede a little bit. So it is a top mount board. In case you guys are like, what mounting is this? Oh yeah, it's very heavy. SPV1 South Paw 75% has the three LED indicators in this corner right here. Right here. They're pretty subtle. So it's interesting because the South Paw, you can do mirrored, you can do normal, or you can do all one U. So if you want the South Paw to just be like an artisan holder, you can do that. Pretty interesting that they give you multiple numpad layouts. I actually really appreciate that, especially since it is a South Paw board. It does force you into a 7U bottom row layout. You do have a choice of split backspace, regular step caps lock. It is a 75%, so this size 75, so you can see right here. So this is a mirrored numpad layout. For those who are like truly left-handed or, you know, like Southpaw can be a little awkward to use sometimes, having the mirror layout actually makes things, I would say, a lot more accessible. And instead of opting for one more key right here, you have your LED indicators. Since it is a 75%, that forces you into a 7U layout. You do have uneven blockers, which doesn't really bother me, but the blockers are here. Here's a side. So if you look here, there's actually no harsh corners. This is curved. This is curved. Here's the back. So it does have the four feet right here. And then you have these two weights you can change out. This 
is a brass suede, but the coating on here is actually going to be more satin for the production run, but typical Biso weight right here. And then here is the USB side right here. So it's not a daughter board JST. The USB is actually on the PCB itself and it is on the right hand side of it. And then here is the front lip. Ooh. So eight degree typing angle and the front face height is 18.8 millimeter. This is solder PCB only, but comes in four colors. This is a silver unit. This is a prototype unit. So there are some things that are a little different, but overall what you see here is pretty much what you're going to get. Some changes for the prototype are like the Phillip hub screws. They'll all be the same. They'll all be hex. And then the weights, these will be finished or these will be coated differently. If you want to know more details, please check out the product page that I will link. If you do buy from Canon Keys, please consider using my link. It helps me out. Okay, that's that's my shill. I, I have to like push my links. <laughs> Thank you, CK. Thank you, Biso. That's the board.